Hey guys, Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a folding workbench from Cargo Smart. Now, this is going to allow you to have a very solid workspace inside an enclosed trailer, maybe in a house or something like that, or in your garage where you need some space, but you want to have a good sturdy workbench. You can install the, either the vertical or horizontal e-track and really be able to use it just about any situation. And we've got a couple of pins here that are going to pull and you can see how this is going to deploy. The legs are going to come down. We'll just place our pin back in on both sides here. And with that in place, as you can see, it's really quite sturdy. We're using 5 8 inch thick plywood here, but you could use one bias, two bias, whatever you wanted. And those can be up to eight foot long, so you can get a lot of space. Now, this will also double as a bench. You can see we have telescoping legs here. Those legs fully extended like we have them now. It's gonna give us about 40 inches to the top of our work surface. And we can bring them all the way down here. That'll get us down to 26. So now that 26, that 28, that 30 inch kind of range, that's gonna be ideal for benches, which we'll show you in that configuration here in a minute. But overall, I think it's gonna be a very handy way to get a surface in areas that you wouldn't generally want them without sacrificing that space. We can very easily pull our pins, fold this back up, and either get back to work if we're doing it in a garage or load up whatever items we wanna load up and hit the road. Now something else comparable to this, while it wouldn't work out as a bench, I don't think, would be from tow racks. They make a folding aluminum workstation more so than a workbench or a sitting bench. That one's gonna be 45 and a half inches long, 18 and a half inches deep. That one being aluminum though, it certainly wouldn't be one that I'd be hammering on or something like this. This one is extremely solid. After we got it installed, I beat on it with a hammer a little bit just to see how rigid it was. And it surprised me on how nice and sturdy it was. I wouldn't have any problems changing bear bearings, working on equipment and stuff like that on this one. I think on the tow racks, however, we'd probably have it bent and damaged. So I think that's more going to be for paperwork or very light duty type maintenance, where this one's definitely going to lend itself to some heavy duty applications. Now there isn't a stated weight rating for this system, the tracks. Basically, since we do have our telescoping support legs here, these are nice, thick, heavy duty. I wouldn't be worried about these bending or flexing. And we've got our E-track here. You're, you're gonna be looking at a pretty significant weight, especially if it's for a bench, if we had a few of these stacked up and we had an eight foot piece on it or something. I think you could get a couple people on it uh, I think the E-Track in the vertical position here, I think it's rated for up to 1,600 pounds. So our anchor and our bracket should also be weighted for that, or rated for that. So with those things in mind, depending on how you've mounted your E-Track, if you've got it properly secured to something, that's gonna lend itself to the rest of the system. But certainly, I mean, they recommend 3 8 inch plywood. We put 5 8 on here. But if you use an eight foot long piece of 3 8 inch plywood and you've got it secured six inches from the end, the middle of it's gonna sag. So use your best judgment. Don't overload it so you don't cause any damage, which really shouldn't be an issue if you're using it the way it's intended. Now when adjusting the height of your table, you will need your pins to be out. But it's just a matter of removing the bolt. We're gonna line up our holes here. Once that's through, Allow it to come down. Just going to thread our nut back on. And just like we did before, we can make our adjustments. You want your pins to go in place, of course. Get those slid in on both sides. Overall, you can see it's nice and solid. It's sturdy, not a lot of give to it. Making the adjustment took us about know, three or four minutes. It's not all that difficult. I don't think it's something I want to do every hour, but Overall, to go from a bench like this back up into a workbench, it's not going to take you that long to do. Now, the installation is going to begin like any E track or X track type accessory. You're going to pick the height you want to go to. You're going to pull in on that lever. I'm going to bring it in. Allow that to go down and just that tab will go back in place. See, that's going to hold it secure at that point. And once we've got that in, we're going to Pull our pin at the bottom, we'll let our leg come down. 
Now once we have that out and we've got our leg deployed, we want to pin it in position. That's going to keep it from moving in and out. So we'll use the provided pin. And bring that through. Now we'll check our level here. And we can extend the foot out so we get it to a nice level position. And then that nut that's on there, just bring it up so it makes contact there on the bottom. I don't think you need to over tighten it or anything. That's just going to hold that position for us. We can do the same thing with our other side and then we'll get our board installed. You can see we moved it up a little bit. It's going to give us better access on the bottom side when we start putting in our fasteners. We just want to get it in place and I'd do a few measurements if I were you. I'd basically measure from the outside of your work surface to the inside of that bracket. I'd want to make sure those are nice and square. And you want to use, they recommend at least three eighths inch plywood. Uh, you, you can get creative with what you want to attach here. So then we squared up the back side first. So from the outside edge of our work surface into the bracket on both sides, I'm gonna make sure that's square. Then I'm gonna put my rearmost fastener in. We'll come out here to the front. We'll get those squared up and put our fasteners in there. Then we can fill it in on back. Now, uh, the holes to mount, they say use a number 10 wood screw. That'd be if you're going into wood, something a little bit thicker than this maybe. I don't know how short they make those. The thickness of the steel is an eighth of an inch. So we're using a 5-8 sheet of plywood add that additional eighth in, it gives us three quarter inch thickness. I'm going to be using a three quarter inch screw. Let's go in from the bottom. And when we're done with our project or when we're ready to store the table, we just want to pull the pins on each side there. Rotate it up and out of the way and then we can just repin it. How to keep it up in the stored position for us. As you can see, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room, so it's a convenient way to get a very sturdy workbench without sacrificing a bunch of room in your trailer every day. Overall, I think this is going to be a really good solution. Whether you need a workbench, you need a bench, you need somewhere to lay, you know, if you stretch this out a little bit, put your brackets a little bit further away, give you a nice spot to sleep. I think everybody's need is going to be a little bit different for this and what your ideal use of it is, but it's going to be nice and solid. It's not going to be something that you're worried about bending, breaking, or falling over on you while you're trying to use it.